Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This is yet another Thursday evening approaching the midnight hour. And yes, I am happy, glad, and blessed that I can come and share prayer. And I will start with scripture, Romans chapter 8, verse 18. For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory that is going to be revealed to us. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your grace, your mercy, your favor. We thank you for your unfailing kindness. We thank you for your precious son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for all of our sins, who was buried and rose with all power. We thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit and invite the Holy Spirit to be in this prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank you for all of my prayer partners who touch and agree with me. I thank you and, and I pray um, for the, all the intercessors that are also interceding on behalf of someone else. And Heavenly Father, we thank you for every church that's open in your name. For a time such as this, Heavenly Father, your word says when two or more gathered in your name, that there you would be in the midst. Your word says that we can cast all of our cares upon you, Heavenly Father. So we thank you that we have the privilege to come to you in the name of your son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that name that has all power in praise. So from our prayer partners, Minister Allen, Morning Glory Group, Shape Group, the Allen family, the wonderful women of God, um, the Grateful Prayer Line, Prayer Chronicles, as well as my home church, Kadesh Baptist Church of, De of Detroit, the 6 p.m. daily prayer call. Heavenly Father, we thank you for giving us, again, access to you, giving us technology to come together, Heavenly Father, to pray to you, to praise you, to honor you, to glorify you, because you are worthy to be praised. Heavenly Father, first of all, I thank you for letting me um, see another birthday, Heavenly Father, to celebrate another birthday, Heavenly Father. And I know that it's only by your grace in your mercy that you have yet allowed me to celebrate another birthday. And I thank you for everyone, Heavenly Father, who all of the birthday wishes and everything that um, we did, Heavenly Father. We thank you for allowing us to celebrate and honor veterans this past week, Heavenly Father. And we thank you for all those who are serving, Heavenly Father, those who have served and those who are doing servant work, those who are in the service. We thank you for the first responders, the police, um, law enforcement, firefighters, medical personnel, people in transportation who are um, working, especially in the midnight hours. So many people, while they're resting and slumbering, that it's those who are overseeing and watching and caring and doing the work. So we are grateful for everyone, Heavenly Father to come together to serve people, Heavenly Father. We pray for those who have a broken heart, a bereaved heart, Heavenly Father. We pray for those who need a touch mentally, physically, emotionally, financially, spiritually. Some have to make funeral arrangements. Some are in hospitals right now. Some are in prison, Heavenly Father. Some are bound by addiction, Heavenly Father. No, no matter what the case is, some are in court. Some are going through a divorce. Some children are wayward, Heavenly Father. No matter what the situation is, Heavenly Father. We know one word from you, Heavenly Father. One touch from you, Heavenly Father, can change and turn the situation, Heavenly Father. In the troubles of this world, Heavenly Father, we cast them at your feet. And we thank you again that your word says that we can cast all of our cares to you, no matter how big, how small, that you are everywhere at the same time. You have all power. You are omnipotent. We pray for our leaders, Heavenly Father, that they will be convicted to do what thus saith the Lord, Heavenly Father. But we know that you, you are in charge and you're sovereign and nothing goes, um, nothing happens, nothing goes by coincidence, that you have all power. So we thank you that we know that we can cry out to you again in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that we can cast our cares upon you, Heavenly Father. We pray that for someone who don't know you to come to know you in a personal way and try you for themselves or to have a relationship with you you to know that salvation you paid the price heavenly father that we don't deserve it but we're grateful 
for the price that you paid, Heavenly Father. So I thank you for my family. I thank you for my daughters. I thank you for my fiance. I thank you for this new life, this new love. I thank you for healing um, those who are affected by inclement weather, um, the different colds and viruses that's going around, Heavenly Father. I pray a covering over us all, Heavenly Father, to to um, be well in this season, Heavenly Father, and to be grateful and to be careful and prayerful, to be wise stewards of our time, of our bodies, of our talents, Heavenly Father, that we can use them to glorify you, Heavenly Father. We pray a covering over our city, Heavenly Father, this metropolitan area, Heavenly Father, for you to cover it and have mercy only as you can. You know the things that are going on in this world. Nothing surprises you. You, Heavenly Father. So we thank you that we can call out to you, Heavenly Father. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy, Heavenly Father. And if there's anything that I forgot, Heavenly Father, please um, charge it to my head and not my heart. Um, thank you for this platform. And if anyone needs prayer, please do not hesitate to um, reach out to me because we're going to touch and agree together. We're going to... Um, petition these prayers knowing that God can answer them and pray that he will. And I thank you for my home church, Cadiz Baptist Church, Senior Pastor Greg Foster, Second Heavenly Father, and every church that's open in your name, Heavenly Father, Lord have mercy, continue to use us. And thank you for choosing us. So again, um, I'm Minister Dina, and I am so grateful for this opportunity to come and share prayer. So reach out, subscribe, share a prayer. He left us in peace. So I too would say peace and a master saying with Jesus. Amen.